of the sovereign, stable and self-reliant country that America and her allies hoped to create. We're travelling towards the front line, where an uneasy alliance of Kurdish forces and Shia militia groups is battling Islamic State with support from American airstrikes. This is Suleiman Beg, a Sunni town recently retaken after months under IS control. When the Shia militia commander and his men entered the town, they discovered a mass grave, around 60 bodies, mostly Iraqi army soldiers and truck drivers. They had their hands tied, some had been beheaded. The smell of death lingers in the air, and with it, hatred and mistrust. One of the problems here is that the local people of this town supported IS in what they were doing. They have run away. They are not here. Some of the locals worked with Islamic State. Will, will those people ever be able to come back here and live? Impossible. Impossible. The key to President Obama's strategy is to drain the Sunni extremists of Islamic State of local support by drawing moderates into a broad coalition. But Suleiman Beg is deserted. Even the Sunni mayor, who fled IS in fear of his own life, says it's too dangerous for him now to be here in the presence of the Shia militia. You're afraid? Yeah. Right. Why are you afraid? <laughs> I, can I can't tell you now, he says. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand. We'll meet him again later. One of the Shia militia groups, the Badab...